who won. Right? Like, um, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread if we forgive those who trespass or sin against us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right. So, this week we here. We're still in the, the uh, Melechim Bet. Second Kings, we're starting off with the 11th chapter. And we have 21 of these things. So that means we each get seven. That's a dope number, 777. Most size number, baby. Let's get down. So we just need an order of march. Gentlemen, I'll allow you to choose. Okay, all right. I'm not in the middle this time. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Big. I'll go first. Oh, okay. Marker. I'll just mark it in this book. We still, still gotta fix the echo. Still, okay, I'm sorry. The only way I could fix it is doing... Wait, can you give me some recommendations there? I think I still have the settings you told me last time. Is it time. still coming through your TV? Negative, sir. Uh, negative. Let me just make sure I mute it. It's mute. It's on zero. How about now? Hello. Is it better now? Hello. Hello? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, I just yeah. heard a different thing. I just heard something different when I hit mute. I mean, it's not echoing anymore. That was crazy. Okay, I just, something sounded, okay. All right, I got it. Oh, because it's the Xbox. I'm like, all right. I'm ready for you, big. What you... All right. Did you want to go first? And yeah, I said first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And Athal Athalia was the mother of Ahaziah. And when she saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the offspring of the rain. But Yehosheba, the daughter of Sovereign, Yoram, sister of Ahaziah, took Yoash, son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the sons of the sovereign sons who were put to death. So they hid him and his nurse in the bedroom from Athaliahu, and, and he was not put to death. And he remained with her in hiding in the house of Yahweh for six years while Athaliah was reigning over the land. And in the seventh year, Yehoiada sent and brought the commanders of hundreds with the Karites and the runners and brought them into the house of Yahweh to him. And he made a covenant with them and took an oath from them in the house of Yahweh and showed them the son of the sovereign. And he commanded them, saying, This is what you are to do. One third of you who come in on the Sabbath to be on guard in the sovereign's house, and one third at the gate of Sir, and one third at the gate behind the runners. And you shall be on guard in the house, lest it be broken down. And the two detachments of, of you who are going out on the Sabbath shall be on guard in the house of Yahweh for the sovereign. And, and you shall surround the sovereign on all sides, every man with his weapons in hand. And, his, and whoever comes within the ranks, let him be put to death, and be with the sovereign as he goes out and as he comes in. So the commanders of the hundreds did according to all that Yehoiada the priest commanded. And each of them took his own men who were going in on the Sabbath, with those who were going out on the Sabbath, and came to Yehoiada the priest. And the priest gave the commanders of hundreds the spears and shields which had belonged to Sovereign Dawid, that they were in the house of Yahweh. And the runners stood, every man with his weapons in his hand, 
all around the sovereign, from the right side of the house to the left side of the house, by the slaughter place and the house. He brought out the son of the sovereign and put him on diadem and the witness. And they set him up to reign and anointed him. And they clapped their hands and said, Let the sovereign live. And Athaliah heard the noise of the runners, the people. And she came to the people and to the house of Yahweh and looked and saw the sovereign standing by a column according to the ruling. And the ch chiefs and the trumpeters were beside the sovereign. And all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets. And Athalia tore her garments and cried out, Treason! Treason! Sorry, sorry, I did all of that, but... And Yehoda the priest commanded the commanders of hundreds, the officers of the army, and said to them, Take her outside the ranks, and slay her with the swords, whoever follows her. For the priest had said, Do not let her be killed in the house of Yahweh. So they took hold of her, and she went by the way of the horse, entrance to the sovereign's house, and was put to death there. And Yehoda made a covenant between Yahweh and the sovereign and the people to be the people of Yahweh also between the sovereign and the people and all the people of the land went to the house of Baal and broke it down then they completely broke up its slaughtering places and its image and killed Mahatha the priest of Baal before the slaughtering place and the priest appointed inspectors over the house of Yahweh and took the commanders of hundreds and the Karak and the runners and all the people of the land, and they brought on the sovereign down from the house of Yahweh. And they went by way of the gate of the runners to the sovereign's house. And he sat on the throne of the sovereign. And all the people of the land rejoiced, and all the city had rest. They had slain Alathai uh, Yahu with the sword of, in the sovereign's house. Yehu. Ash was seven years old when he began to reign. Yehudo, Yehud, Ye, Yehuda Ash was seven years old when he began to reign. Mm. This is pretty clear cut and pretty clear dry. However, there's some things, we, some gems we could take from this. Like, what gems have you found in this? that they protected the sovereign. That's all I see right now. Shoot, and, and 900 characters and or words or less. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, I'm sucking the information in on this one. Let's crack. Shoe? Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello. He said he was so Take good. it away, little killer poop. Can you hear me? Can't hear him. Hello? I can't hear any of us. Hello? <laughs> hello. Okay, you can. I can hear you. Can you hear me, big? Yeah, did you not hear poo? No, sir. I said a second information in. Oh, okay. That's right. Alright, so... Where was I? Ah, oh, see, I gotta find a way to highlight. Okay, I gotta find There was a part... Where... There was... There was, there was a relationship between... Yeah, Yahweh... The 
sovereign, the king, and the people. I can't. Yeah, I gotta start highlighting this. Oh my gosh, sorry. I just wanted to, that that stuck out to me because it goes into what what was being said earlier. It's not what I'm saying. It's what's there. It's the Most High. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's the people. It's the the sovereign and the people. So mm -hmm. we don't have any any more faux pas in this kingdom. Yahshua will play the role of sovereign. And so, as we, his guards, his 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 strongmen, his priests, his people, we need to protect Yahshua, just like our forefathers protect. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Athelia's son that they took, Yehoda. Sorry, no, Yehoda wasn't there. But you guys understand what I'm saying. I got it. This is a transition between the book and the tablet. And I'm going to get used to it. So it can still be off. But you understand, gentlemen? There it goes. Okay. All praise is due to the most high God. All right. It was uh, Melakim Beth. Uh, chapter 11 I mean the 11th chapter the verse is 17 and it says and Yehoda made a covenant between Yahweh and the sovereign and the people to be the people of Yahweh and also between the sovereign and the people that right there guys this is our kingdom it's 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 in the future but it's already here what they call remote generation it could be another remote generation from us, but it's in our hearts, it's in our body, it's in our spirit first. Just like how big, when you have an idea, it's, it's in your head first and then you carry it out. This vision is here, it's a revelation first. All right, slide on to chapter 12. Both now. Okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> as the most high will have it. <laughs> We're doing this again. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Everybody get their piece. Capiche? No one considering it. Take it away, Queen Rich. <laughs> in, the, in the term, in the words of Little King of Pooh, take it away, Queen <laughs> Rich. Yehoash began the reign to reign in the seventh year of Yehu. And he reigned forty years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Sibya of Beersheba. And Yehoash did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh all the days in which Yehoiada the priest instructed him. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still slaughtered and burned incense on the high places. And Yehoash said to the priests, All the silver of the set-apart gifts that are brought into the house of Yahweh, the silver coming over, each man's assessment silver, all the silver that a man purposes in his heart to bring into the house of Yahweh, let the priests take for themselves, each from his friend, and let them strengthen the breaches of the house wherever there is a breach and it came to be by the 23rd year of sovereign Yehoash that the priests had not strengthened the breaches of the house and sovereign Yehoash called Yehoiada the priest and the other priests and said to them why have you not strengthened the breaches of the house and now, do not take any more silver from your friends, but give it to the breaches of the house. <coughs> and the priests agreed that they would neither receive any more silver from the people, nor strengthen the breaches of the house. And Jehoiada took the priest, took a chest, and bored a hole in its lid, and set it beside the slaughter case on the right side, 
That's when it comes into the house of Yahweh. And the priests who guard, guarded the door put there all the silver that was brought into the house of Yahweh. And it came to be, whenever they saw that there was so much silver in the chest, that the sovereign scribe and the high priest came up and put it in bags and counted the silver that was found in the house of Yahweh. And gave the silver weighed out into the hands of into the hands of those who did not work who did the work who had the oversight of the house of Yahweh and they paid it out to the carpenters and builders who worked on the house of Yahweh and to stone masons and stone cutters and for buying timber and hewn stone to strengthen the breach of the house of Yahweh and for all that was paid out to strengthen the house however they were not made for the house of Yahweh. Bastions of silver, snuffers, sprinkling bowls, trumpet, or any other gold, or any or any objects of gold or objects of silver. From the silver that was brought into the house of Yahweh, for they gave that to the workmen, and they strengthened the house of Yahweh with it. And they did not reckon with the men into whose hands they gave the silver to be paid to the workmen. For they acted trustworthily. The silver from the trespass offering and the silver from the sin offering was not brought into the house of Yahweh. It belongs to the priests. And Hazazel, sovereign of Aram, went up and fought against Goth and captured it. And Hazazel set his face to go up against Jerusalem. And Yehoiada, Sovereign of Yehuda took all the set apart gifts of his fathers, Jehoshaphat and Jehoram, and Azazahu, Aza, 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 sovereign of Yehuda, had set apart, and his own set apart gifts, and all the golds found in the treasuries of the house of Yahweh, and in the sovereign's house, and sent them to Hazazadal, sovereign of Aram. Then he went away from Jerusalem, and the rest of the acts of Jehoadash. And all that he did, are they not written in the books of the annals of the sovereign of Yehuda? And his servants rode up and made a conspiracy to smoke Yehudash in the house of Milo, which goes down to Selah. For Yochazar, son of Shemath, and Yehozabad, son of Shemar, his servant, struck him. So he died, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of Dalim. And Amistah, his son, reigned in this place. Amishah, Amish Amish his son, reigned in this place. Oof. Big? Still getting that in. Soak Max the Soup. Getting so fast, I can hear. Heavy. Yeah, Coming in? So much stuff from it. She's soaking it all in. <laughs> Switch it up there. Chop that <laughs> curveball. I see you. I see you. I see you, sir. I see you. One of the things I, I need for us to understand, right? When people be talking about this whole, um, Yahshua came in and Yahshua talked about giving and giving more of yourself, so the piety. And Peter talked about that, and Paul, Saul, and Kepar, sorry. In this section, though, right, we understand that there's still need for currency. There's still need to feed people. So it was like, guys, let's not take this money from the church. Let's give it, let's build this church up. The spiritual sense is like, just don't use this money just to, 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 to have all... Your, your desires felt. Build your temple up. Build, get stronger spiritually. It's a tool. The silver, the gold, alike. Mm. So in the Malachim Beth, the 12th chapter, he said that in the 11th verse, he gave the silver weighed out in the hands of those who did the work who had the oversight of the house of Yahweh and paid out to the carpenters and builders who work in the house of Yahweh. 
That's how just the Most High is. That's how just we as a servant should be. Somebody does some work for you, pay them. Don't try to cheat them. Yeah. So one of, your, one of your people have an inheritance, respect that. Don't try to take it away like Ahab did. Or even have your wife or your woman or your help me. With all due respect, that's what that beautiful creature is. Guide you out away from the most high. Hopefully, we're strong enough, well, more y'all than me. We're strong enough to select or attract a right help me that has the most high first. But in these days and times, that's going to be a tough, tough ordeal. On to the next one, gentlemen. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <laughs> this is for you, big. <laughs> He gave us 25. So, so, one of us will have a nine, and the rest of us will have eight. Mm, yes, sir. Did I did I get that right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's the reverend. There's a reverend that'd be like, he'd be like, Am I right? What movie is that in? Hey, preacher. Yeah, sure. Preacher. What are you saying, Shoot? I said, what uh, movie is that in the show? No, it's a preacher. I'm going to send you the thing. He's yeah. just, he's, he's a no nonsense kind of guy, though. <laughs> he's a, uh, Reverend Wright? Isn't it? Yeah, Reverend Wright. He has like YouTube sermons, but he'd be going in. So he, when I got that, I got that from a guy named Mr. Jap. He's not a preacher, but he has a show where he talks about the gender wars, which is slowly dying, alpha males, whatever. But he refers to different um, pastors and priests. And so Pastor Wright jumps on there and he's talking about women dressing scantily clad in church. And, he, and you could see that he was upset. He said, hey, preacher, preacher, preacher. If the woman I've talked about describes your right, if you describes your wife, then you're married to a whore. <laughs> Am I right? And he's just, oh my God, he's something else though. But he, you can tell he's a man of scripture. Like, he laughs, he smiles, but when it comes to that book, he's not playing around. Ooh, he's not playing around. Hmm. All right. All right, I'll take the nap. <laughs> you got it, The 23rd year of Yoash, son of Ahaz Yahu, sovereign of Yehuda. Yeho Ahaz, son of Yehu, began to reign over Israel in Shamaram, and reigned seventeen years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh, and followed the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. He did not turn away from them, and the displeasure of Yahweh burned against Israel. And he gave them into the hand of Haz. Hazael, sovereign of Aram, and into the hand of Ben-Hadad, son of Hazael, all the days. Then Yehoahaz sought the, f sought the face of Yahweh, and Yahweh listened to him. For he saw the oppression of Israel, because the sovereign of Aram oppressed them. And Yahweh gave Israel a savior so that they came out from under the hand of Aram. And the children of Israel dwelt in their tents as before. However, they did not turn away from the sins of the house of Jeroboam, which made Israel sin, but walked in them. Moreover, the Asherah also remained in Shamaram, for he left of the enemy of Jehoahaz only fifty horsemen, and ten chariots, and ten thousand footmen. For the sovereign of Aram had destroyed them and made them like the dust at threshing. And the rest of the acts of Jehoahaz, and all that he did, and his might, and they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Israel, 
So Yehoahaz slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Shamaram. And Yo Yoash, his son, reigned in his place. So in the 37th year of Yoash, sovereign of Yehuda, Yehoash of Yehoaz, Yehoahaz began to reign over Israel in Shamaram 16 years. He did evil in the eye of Yahweh. He did not turn away from all the sins of Jeroboam. And of Nabat, he made Israel sin. He walked in it. And the rest of the acts of Yoash and all that he did and his might, with which he fought against um, Amatiah, sovereign of Yehuda, are they not written in the books of the annals of the sovereigns of Israel? So Yoash slept with his fathers, and Jeroboam sat on his throne. And Yoash was buried in Shamron with the sovereigns of Israel. And Elisha had become sick with the sickness of wait, had become sick with the sickness in which he died. And Yoash, the sovereign of Israel, came down to him and wept over his face and said, Oh my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and their horsemen. And Elisha said to him, Take a bow and some arrows. And he took a bow and some arrows. He said to the sovereign of Israel, Place your hand on the bow. So he placed his hand, and Elisha placed his hand on the hands of the sovereign, and said, Open the east window. He had opened it, and Elisha said, Shoot, and he shot. Then he said, The arrow deliverance of Yahweh, and the arrow deliverance from Aram. He shall strike Aram at Afek until it is finished. Then he said, take the arrows, and he took them, and he said to the sovereign of Israel, strike the ground, and he struck three times and stopped, and the man of Elohim was wroth with him and said, you should have struck five or six times, and you have stricken the arm till it's utter destruction, now you shall strike the arm only three times, and Elijah died, and he buried him. And the raiding bands of Moab came into the land into the spring of the year. And it came to be, they were burying a man. There they saw a raiding band and cast the man into the burial site of Elisha. And the man fell and touched the bones of Elisha and came to life and stood on his feet. And Hazazel, sovereign of Aram, oppressed Israel all the days of Yehoahaz. And Yahweh showed favor to them and had compassion on them and turned towards them for the sake of his covenant with Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov and would not destroy them or cast them off from his presence as yet. And Azazel, sovereign of Aram, did die. And Ben-Hadad, his son, reigned in his place. And Yehoadah, son of Yehoadah, recovered from the hands of Ben-Hadad, son of Haz Hazazel, the cities which he had taken out of the hands of Yehoadah, his father, in battle. Yoahash struck them three times and they recovered the city of Israel. Mm. Pretty straightforward gentlemen. Big, before you go off and, and jump in, while I have this in mind, can I jump in real quick? Okay. One of the things that we as Sovereigns, baby sovereigns, big sovereigns, gentlemen sovereigns, upright men of God need to understand, men of the Most High need to understand, and then Yahweh need to understand, right? Sovereigns cannot do what others, sovereigns of the Most High can't do what other sovereigns do. Bottom line of front. You cannot force your people to do as a sovereign. You're a decision maker. You're an influencer. You can't. You can't, no matter what it is. Hey, let's go have some lobster tip. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm a sovereign. Man. I'm a king. I'm a child of a king. I can't go eat lobster tails after the most I said not to do it. I I can't be the, the one, the guardian, the example, and be the one to break it. The men of the most high, like the priestly kings, they do the work, they do the action. But you have to fight the battle, lose your troops. Govern over a kingdom. 
right? So that was in that was in uh, Malachi Bet, thirteen chapter in the thirteen chapter in two, because they it's gonna be repeated. And he did evils in the eyes of Yahweh and followed the sins of Yeroah ben son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. And he did not turn away from them. He was making other people sin. So I use this as an example. If I'm fruit fairy, accepting all type of men loving in, in me, you guys will be fruit fairies accepting all type of men because apples don't fall too far from the tree. Who's the bigger sinner, me or you guys? Me. Because y'all are watching me. Hey, yo. My pops is, okay, my pops is kissing men. I, I kiss men too. Right? Like, it's nothing. Right? And then here's another part. In Mel Mel Melachim Beth, the 13th chapter, in verse 5. And Yahweh gave Israel a savior so that they could come out from under the hands of Aram and the children of Israel dwelled in their tents as before can you not see how compassionate this being is this supreme being is he should have been wrote oh, I can't say that he's been wrote this. That's, what I'm talking about. That's, that's how much compassion he has for us his creation pencils mm -hmm. have erasers you can erase that project you can erase that little mistake and keep it moving he is working with us. Another part I want to highlight, and it just goes into what we were just talking about before. In the, in the same chapter, verse 9. So Yehoiada slept with his fathers, and they buried him in Shemarah. And Ye Yehoash, his son, reigned in his place. Just talked about what we were talking about earlier, the discovery we made earlier. Because it was always there. We just discovered it. It was always there. We're going to sleep, gentlemen. When Nima's sleeping, I'll be sleeping. Your grandfather's sleeping. Your great grands are sleeping. Mm -hmm. There was a part. Hold on. Let me see. 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 This part got me. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is another part of resurrection. Okay. In the 21st chapter. I mean, 21st verse of the same chapter. This is what I'm telling you. Like, there's a there's a group of there's a group of beings that pro resurrection means probably nothing to them. They're eternal. Or, or on the cusp of it, because the final stage of joining the eternal, the most high, will be after he gets rid of the the children of the dark. So in the 21st chapter, so, and it came to be, they were burying a man. Then they saw a raiding band and cast the man into the burial site of Elisha. The man and the men fell and touched the bones of Elisha and came to life and stood on his feet. Can you imagine that? Like, like last thing you know, you're dead. What, whatever that is, I don't even know. I can't even speak on it. But you wake up, there's a raiding party coming here. You gotta run. <laughs> you gotta get up out of here. But you're like, wait a minute, I'm alive. It's beings that probably understand. That's how powerful, or that's how full with the set apart spirit. Even in his bones, even in his resting, he's still able to resurrect. This is the power we can tap into, gentlemen. This is why I say this is a superpower. I don't know, this is supernatural, right? Right? But it's still a superpower nonetheless. Because that's not natural. Or is it? Is it not, not natural for us in this dimension? But natural for beings of another? Hmm. Right? Because you can't... He touched his bones. Who himself was dead. <laughs> Help me out, big. Help me sing it. Israel. I mean, Yahweh always sends somebody to save Israel because he Hallelujah. loves so much. Hallelujah. Happy you saw that. Happy you recognized that, sir. Hallelujah. 
I have to highlight that one. Shoot, I know I know you want to go in. You only got an hour, sir. <laughs> Please be brief. We talk about it so much, but I'm so... I just want to know, how... How do you, the sovereigns always get pushed into doing evil in the eyes of the Most High? Like, everything's going good, everything's going good. And then all of a sudden, boom. We're back on the bad side. Heavenly Father, if I could attempt to answer this righteously and justly in your name, in the name of Yahshua. It's as simple as this, shoot. Like, think about it. You, you're at a point where you can start to see fathers, right? You're because you're a child, you see fathers. Your peer groups is, is young men. Big's in he's in a point where he's seen fathers, right? His peer group. Some of people in his peer group have children. Let's be fair. Mm. Nini, I was I was a dad by Big's age. Right? So I'm saying that. You can you can be so enamored by what's going on in the world because outside this is not affecting outside of Yasharal, even the two kingdoms, right? The separation. These people are worshiping whatever they want to worship. It looks great. It looks fun. Right now, these rappers, right, in the music industry, they have to do something, and part of what they have to do, once you start understanding. These deities, even these Egyptians or these Mishraim, going all the way back to Ur, to Nimrod, even before that, even before the flood, it was men marrying mm -hmm. men. It was men kissing men. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to be as vile and vulgar. It was lesbianism. Like right now, this LGBT thing, and that's not the only sinning. Let's be clear. But that's a big one. If he made man and woman, that's a big sin. But they're trying to sugarcoat it. Right now, you, you, you boys are probably more tolerant for LGBT than I was in high school. Or Big was in high school. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it probably was not cool for my high school. Big, it was like, eh. Yours is like, yo, <laughs> we here. They're everywhere. They're taking over. Exactly. Yeah, and that's a, like like these are battles. Like, shoot, like think about it, big. Think about it. Like, you mean to tell me there's no control? You you completely controlled by these vessels, right? Because guess what? Diana could also be Dionysus, and and what they sugarcoat for us, right? It says, hey, that's his daughter, but in reality when you start reading it you know it's the same being it's a hermaphrodite type of being it could be a guy or a girl just like any of their deities it could be a guy or a girl because it covers dad mom and son so mom could sleep with son son could sleep with mom uh 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 uh, uh to keep it in the bloodline um um that's a sin he made a law Anything that the law is a law for, and you violate it or trespass it, trespass it, it's a sin. And even that you can be forgiven for, as long as you repent and don't step in it. You gotta recognize it. If we were to sit up right now and said this is an unclean beast, and I was to be like, you know what? I'm about to have me a pork chop sandwich. Shoot, what a pork chop sandwich? We're sitting. <laughs> And if we say, man, you know what? <laughs> I declare, bless you, I declare bless every you. Sabbath day pork chop Saturdays. We're going to have pork chop sandwiches on Soul Food Saturday. Guess what we're seeing? Because we know this is an unclean beast. We know we're not supposed to. If we're like, man, you know what, shoot? Mm -hmm. Big, um, let's go to Red Lobster and have some lobsters. Or, or roaches of the sea. I love roaches. I want to eat one. That's a sin. Yeah, we're going to have crab legs and this and that and the third. What are you doing? 
You have a sovereign. Is shrimp unclean too? Come again? Is shrimp unclean? They're, they're vultures of the sea. They crawl. You know how they catch shrimp, big? They gotta send a basket of a dead carcass. What? That's uh, Octomorn. A carcass, right? I mean, just like any other. But you send it and you leave it on the bottom, so they would eat a dead person. They're like the cleaners of the ocean. They eat all the dead. They get rid of it. Crabs are nothing but spiders of the ocean. Uh, 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 um, shrimp is roaches of the sea. Before they look at a shrimp, before they do all the cute things to it and have it hanging. Even the skin of a shrimp or lobster or uh, is the same skin of a roach. We don't sit here and be like, yo, we going, yo, man, I can't wait till we have some ant burgers, man. Yo, big. Hey, come on. Ant burgers, man. We don't do that. Why? <laughs> because we know, first of all, we don't like it. Right? But that's not about us. What I should say, back to my tongue having fun. First of all, the most high don't like it. Second of all, it's not something that we should be doing, period. Because it wasn't meant for that. Mm -hmm. Scavengers was meant to clean the earth off. They're not meant to eat those things. We're kings. We're a different being. Now, that's us. Remember, day six, it was man. Adam is different. He's set apart. It's a kingdom of set apart people to rule over all the people. That's why mm -hmm. it's different for us. America, America, another man of another, I don't know, whatever, could have, could have relations with his son. But when we do it, it's a, it's, you can feel how sinful it is. But to feel a sinfulness and still do it? Oh, that's evil in the eyes of most of It's like saying, and it goes both ways. It's like saying, hey, hey, um, you know, and it's it's we we take it to the finite. Like, hey, shoot, let me borrow some money. Hey, big, let me borrow some money. I'll pay you back on Thursday. Knowing that I don't have no money on Thursday. That's a sin already. That's the sin between me and you guys. There's also a sin between me and the Most High because I, as his child, lie knowingly. That's a different, <laughs> we can be forgiven for those. Just like we can forgive others. We have that power. That was one of the things when he touched that phone, I wanted to let you know you can tap into that power. Separate the mm. men from the boys. The pagans and the Gentiles, the Gentiles, the child of the, the children of the Mosa, the children of Yaka. It's not, they're not even calling themselves children of the Mosa here. They're not even calling themselves sons of men here. Because guess who are the men? Abram, Ava, Yeshak, Yaakov. These are the men they're talking about. Even though it's the children of Adam, yeah, they know they were the children of Adam. But at this stage, these are the people that we know that Moshe taught us had the covenant. Mm. That relationship. I can't step up for every child. I have no obligation for every child. That's not even humanly possible. The moment you were born, big, I made a covenant. The moment I knew, young, whatever. But the moment I knew that, okay, I see what Sam is doing. All due respect. I made an agreement with the Most High. I'm gonna watch out for that. I'm on it. And this has been a beautiful assignment. To watch you boys grow to be kings and priestly kings. I don't even know. That's a that's something emotionally. I'm I'm just moved. Bearing good fruit, walking in the ways that's pleasing to the Most High. If I make a mistake and don't know it, that's a mistake I don't know about. 
But if I make a mistake, I do know it. There's even a lesson. The Most High even gives me a moment to take a lesson in the mistake. I know that I repent. And prayfully never do it again. So you guys can have brothers you love. But then the sin is you taking your brother and you treating him like a woman. Like your woman or you making yourself your brother's woman. Guys, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. you, you take, you, you're stealing. Why do you need to steal? It's yours. You're blaspheming the most high. You're not even honoring your parents. You're, what? You're not even making sure you protect the guard the Sabbath day. These are the ten command. These are the ten. These were the ten above all. Yahshua had to come down and chisel it. He had to chisel it. That's how weak we're getting spiritually. It's how ignorant we're getting. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Love the most high with all you got, with everything you got, everything you got. And then love your brothers as you would yourself. If you can do that, we were more responsible then in the time of Moshe. Mm -hmm. Abram had to do it himself. And he was still a coward. But the set apart, with the set apart spirit, with the most high, who can stop him? He was seeing pharaohs. He was fighting wars. Do not forget. He went to go fight for Lot. From the fight, <laughs> his fight is so simple. He he went with he went with sheep herders, and they carried uh, 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 um, uh, um, candles and candle wax. That was their only, that was their only weapons. And people laughed at them on the way there, like, what y'all gonna do? With the most high, nothing could rock with you. That's our superpower. That's what we've been trying. That's what I guess our forefathers and, 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 and our prophets, our saints are telling us. All you children of Yisrael, Yisrael, all you need is the most high. And repent for every sin. If you haven't sinned, keep good, keep moving. Yahshua said, I didn't come for y'all. Think for those that's lost. Ephraim, you lost. Come back. Mm. Okay. We got. What we got? <laughs> back down, back down, man. Nine, nine, ten. You see that, right? Once again. I mean nine, ten, ten. Nine, yeah, nine, ten, ten. Yeah, we see that. In the second year of Yoash, son of Yoahaz, sovereign of Israel, Amatsayu, son of Yoash, sovereign of Yehuda, began to reign. He was 25 years old. Oh, yeah. When he <laughs> began to reign. <laughs> <laughs> and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Yehoadim of Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh, but not like his father Dawid. He did according to all his father Yoash did. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still slaughtered and burned incense on the high places, and it came to be. As soon as the rain was strengthened in his hand, that he struck his servants who had stricken his father, the sovereign. But he did not put to death the children of the strikers, according to what was written in the book of the Torah of Moshe, in which Yahweh commanded, saying, Fathers are not, to, fathers are not put to death for the children, and children are not put to death for the fathers. But each one is put to death for his own sin. 
he struck Edom in the valley of the salt, ten thousand, and took Salah in battle, and called its name Yokthael to this day. Amatziah then sent messengers to Yoha Yehoash, son of Yehoahaz, son of Yehu, sovereign of Israel, saying, Come, let us look each other in the face. And Yehoash, sovereign of Israel, sent to Amatziah, sovereign of Yehuda, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give your daughter to my son as a wife. And the wild beast that was in Lebanon passed by and trampled the thistle. You have certainly shaken me down, and your heart has lifted you up. Be esteemed. Stay in your house. Why do you stare yourself to evil? That, sh that you should fall. You and Yahuda with you. Yehuda with you. But I'm not who did not listen. So Yehoash, sovereign of Israel, went up. And he and Amatiahu, sovereign of Yehuda, faced one another, Beth Shemesh, which belongs to Yehuda. And Yehuda was smitten before Israel, and they each fled to his tent. And Yehoash, sovereign of Israel, caught Amatiahu, sovereign of Yehuda, son of Yehoash, son of Ahaziahu. At Piath Shemesh, they came to Yerushalayim, and he broke through the walls of Yerushalayim, from the gates of Ephraim to the corner gate, four hundred cubits, and took all the gold and silver, and all the objects that were found at the house of Yahweh, and in the treasuries at the sovereign's house, and hostages, and returned to Shamar. And the rest of the acts of Yehoash, which he did in his might, and how he fought with Amatiahu, Sarin of Yehuda. Are they not written in the book of the annals of the Sarins of Israel? The Yehoash slept with his fathers, and was buried in Shamran, the sovereigns of Israel. And Yarubam, his sons, reigned in his place. And Amatiahu, son of Yehoash, sovereign of Yehuda, lived fifteen years after the death of Yehoash, and of Yeho Yehoaz, wait, Yehoahaz. Sovereign of Israel. And the rest of the acts of Amatiahu, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yehuda? And they made a conspiracy against him in Yerushalayim. They fled to Lachish, and they sent after him to Lachish, killed him there, and brought him on horses. He was buried at Yerushalayim with his fathers in the city of Dawid. That was that, I read too far. I bet. Well, I say, man, let me jump in there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, double Dutch, man. Well, it's, it's, the ropes are not, not, not opportune time. <laughs> and all the people of Yehuda took Azariah, 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 who was 16 years old, and set him up to reign instead of his father, Amasayu, Ayu, Amasayu. He built Eli and restored it to Yehuda after the sovereign slept with his father. In the 15th year of Amasayu, son of Yohadas, sovereign of Yehuda, Yorabim, son of Yohadas, the sovereign of Israel, began to reign in Shemarah and reigned 41 years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. And he did not turn away from all the sins of Yeruba, son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. He restored the borders of Israel from the entrance of Hamath to the Sea of Arabah, according to the word of Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, which he had spoken through his servants, Yohanan, son of Am oh, son of Amita, Amita, the prophet who was from Gath Hepher, Hepher. For Yahweh saw the afflictions of Israel was very bitter, and there was no one neither shut up nor left at large to help Israel. And Yahweh had not said that he would not blot out the name of Israel from under the heavens, but saved them by the hands of Yorubin, son of Yoash. And the rest of the acts of Yorubin, and all that he did, and his might, and how he fought, and how he recovered Damascus and Hamath 
for Yehuda in Israel. And are they not written in the books of the annals of Solomon in Israel? So Yoabim slept with his fathers and the sovereigns of Israel. And yet Yezekiah, his son, reigned in his place. Hmm. died mm, that yeah. man was causing all the problems yeah but it, it's crazy because like ah, the bigger picture was like this had to happen it's sad but it had to happen always sending the savior <laughs> and it might be zechariah mm-hmm everything changed died. when the fire nation attacked come again <laughs> Let everything change when the Fire Nation is act. <laughs> so, but here's I noticed, part. like, Go ahead, Vic. I said I noticed in, like, the past three chapters, every time a sovereign died, Yerobam ruled in this place, and then they did evil. No, no, no. no. What, they, what they're saying, Vic, is, like, they did the same evils he did. Yerobam did. Son of Nabat. I said Yerobam took the place. Wait, I'm sorry. Can you bring me to it? Can you catch me up? Verse 16. Okay, so these are two. So that way we 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 we're, we're clear, right? This is your horror bit, your roar bin in verse sixteen of Yehodash, right? But then there's a your your horror bin that they keep referring to, son of uh, Nebat, who had made Israel sin, and he did not turn away from it. Just to be clear, I guess that's his namesake. I get it. This child is the namesake that Yoash had, right? Uh, wait, let me make sure it's Yoash son, 16. Yeah, that Yoash had. But this is the son of Nabat. So we would have to study, we would have to, I like looking at both sides, but certain people I'm afraid if they go studying the, the dark aspect of it, they get uh, 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 blinded by the light of the dark, which is weird. Like they get, okay, for instance, you, you, you ask something great. Like for instance, let's say we're reading this, right? But then tomorrow a new Marvel movie comes out, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, for the moment, for the 32 minutes to an hour, we do this, right? It's 24 hours, 23 hours where somebody's talking about Iron Man and somebody's talking about Hulk, right? Really, which is a cover it's how voodoo works, right? The cover for their pagan gods. It's Iron Man is uh, whatever. He's one of the, whatever, the Thor. And they're, they're the same people, Iron Makers. It's just different ver different versions of themselves, mm. right? Even the women. So like mm. Wonder Woman is another version of Superman, right? Um, but they just try to tell you a different story. Well, Supergirl is another version of Superman, but they just say, hey, I was his cousin. So imagine if you were watching Marvel right now, like our energies for the most high is now in sync because we are in tune and we're conscious of it. But like, let's say we had another son or big had a son or somebody who's seven or a kid. They're like, huh, this guy in the sky, I can see Iron Man on the movie screen. Even though it's like, hey, it's not real. We say it's not real. Hollywood make that up. But the kid will be like, okay, daddy, you're reading me something in scripture that I got to compare to what's in the movie theater that I can see. 
When I go to sleep, I see Iron Man. I don't see Yahshua. I don't even know how Yahshua look like. Mm. So when you ask me, Shu, how can kids get a straight? It's the propaganda. And, and, and the capstone is remember, still, y'all, evil is moving throughout the, throughout the world, the universe. Right? Shaitan took a third, one third of the heavenly messengers, the sons of the Most High. He's going after kings. He wants mm. to be set in high places. So he'll send you a woman, he'll send you a friend, he'll send a song. There's songs that make people want to murder. I don't know how they could do it, but I heard the song, I want to kill somebody. Okay. Even, even in you, there's a, there's a beat that could just invoke something that could make your face all mash up. Like, oh, this beat is sick. Because these guys are playing with dark forces. That 808 is a dark beat. It's a deep beat. But it's lit. When you know how to use it right. So, I say all that to say, right now, for example, Uncle Jones, you could come in on it, right? But Uncle Jones, when I be looking at, like, when I let him reign, take over the YouTube or the television, just to watch what a man would think, this man is watching things about, like, DJ Academics and Cardi B and stuff. I'm like, I keep forgetting that we're 40 years old. Why, why do I even care about a Cardi B? But that's how he can go astray. Even though he's with us, he can go astray. And imagine if he's doing that, imagine what his kid's going to do. Look at Uncle Greg. Uncle Greg is our family. He can go astray. And because his father went astray, he... What do you think happened to Tigray? Yeah. So that's the, that's how that's how this is <clears throat> one thing about scripture, they couldn't hide the lies. Because all they could do is transfer. When they started realizing like, oh, they're not talking about us, and then they started talking about, okay, we have new versions of the Bible and gay versions of the Bible, LGBT versions of the Bible. But before they they was not getting this message from a father to his children. It wasn't for them. So they could read. Somebody can go to church on Saturday and then, you know what I'm saying, turn around and go eat whatever. Or do whatever. Mm -hmm. Because it's not really for you. But it, it does say every man will hear it and know it. One thing it says, they will hear and know that the voice of and Yahweh is God. They would know it. That's what it says. Every nation will bow. That's what it says. Whether we are on top, bending, what, what, putting them under the band, letting them know what's up, what's what, or we riding in with Yahshua, it's going to happen. Everybody will know his name. Every nation will bow and know his name, that he is the highest of the high. But until then, it's confusion. Certain people are lost vessels, shoot. If you don't fill yourself with the set-apart spirit, arm yourself up, things can attack you. It's just the way it is. You get on Call of Duty, you put that armor plate, yeah, we may take on hardcore, we may take a bullet, one bullet, but the next one? Oh, it's a wrap. Unless you're getting mm. them out of the way of that bullet. What if that bullet was a sin? What if that bullet was Satan sending his, his ministers? He has ministers. <clears throat> he has, mm. mind you, you don't think these people are like, yo, you, hey, this is how Solomon controlled demons? <clears throat> the Talmud, that's the word. At this stage, there's a Talmud. There's people studying the other side. Like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me Solomon controlled demons? How'd he do that? When Yahweh, when the Most High was like, you don't need, you don't need to do that. I gave you the set of false spirit. I'ma send my, I'ma send your guardian. I'ma send your savior. Nah, 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 nah. We wanna, we wanna know how to control it. Mind you, 
There are there are pyramids that we don't know how they were made. To this day, you're like, how do they do? People are lying like, oh, it's really a diamond. And they, these people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> you didn't build it, are you? It's easy, fill it up with sand. Fill it up with sand? Stone is gonna stand? Okay. All right. And it survived earthquakes. Okay, next one, next answer. I don't like that answer. That don't even make sense. But when you see how precise these things are, you're like, it's not a machine that made this. So some beings, like these Nephilims, like these things we hide. But where do they go? Where do they go when they die? Where do they spirit go? But there's beings that, remember, the Nephilim made children. I mean, the Nephilim are the children of angelic beings that chose to come down here. They were in prison. Where are they in prison? Wait, is it here? Is it Shiloh? In Shiloh? Or what they would call hell? Because hell is more of a pagan saying, term. Because in these terms, they just call it resting. But in the pagan term, they got a place for them to hang out at. Chill, do whatever they do want to, right? Like, that's you, what you believe. That's what you going for. But if we start mixing up what we, we understand with what they believe, like science, like shoot, if, if you're like, hey, the scientist says, and you're the king, no matter what big as a priestly king can tell you in your heart, you're going with the science. But that's the self as a religion. When, you're ch when your children, children, children ask, man, why did grandfather sing like that? Well. They won't, they're not going to say he went with the science of the day. That's how you got fooled. That's how I say Tom fooled you in that time. Mm -hmm. So we, let's not, I don't, I don't want to take it to where we, we get upset at our forefathers. I don't think that's, this is the time or the place for that. I really believe this is time and place to realize what they did and and right or wrong, accept it because there's a group of us that's going to petition for these guys. Like, Heavenly Father, forgive them. Please let them in. Petition. Like, I had to sign a petition to run for state center. When I first heard that word petition, I was like, wait, in scripture term, I was like, wait. I have to take a step back, like, wait, did they take this from here? No, silly, they didn't. We took it from there. Look, okay, I'll give you a case of point. Y'all hear hang, um, banging hammers, right? Somebody who loves the most high problem through Catholicism or Christianity feels like I gotta work on Sabbath. They're probably not even thinking they're working on the Sabbath. They think the Sabbath is Sunday for them. Somebody fooled all of them, but cursed be the person that started that. Mm. You're gonna get it worse because you're sovereign. You decreed this. Because man, is, sheep are gonna follow wherever the shepherd go. If we get lost here, we go find that sheep. We got sheep, sheep dog, and everything to go help us. But they're following for the most part. You, my friends, are the leaders. You should know better. You're the oldest. You should know better. That's why, as an oldest, I got a different beating than, than Marvin, Uncle Marvin. I had to accept it. That's why Adam got a different beating than all of us. Because mind you, mind you, he knows now what his sin was. Now we got a different beating from all of us. He knew that his sin is going to affect his children. I don't mm. knew his sins go back to his children. Eve knew that hurt. He, he knew, uh, I can't pronounce it right. She knew that her sin was gonna affect her children at a point. And they repented, but they're still petitioning. These, cause that's, these are still somebody's babies. I, I can't, for, I, I was somebody's child. Yeah, you guys are gonna be granddad one day. It will be true. You are my, you still my babies. That holds true. The <laughs> mic, I'm like, ah, oh, daddy, why does grandpa keep calling you baby? This, yeah, because I'm always gonna be his kid. 
<laughs> like you're always gonna be my kid. I'm gonna look at them and be like, you're always gonna be mine. So it's it's I don't want this to get lost and ah man, they were wrong. Because the moment Shaytan hears that, right? It's how slick he is. You know, I'm like, oh, they were wrong, they were stupid, or they were dumb. He's gonna sneak in the conversation. He's got more tools and devices to do it now. He's gonna whisper to you. That's what he was, a whisper. Whisper to you. And I'm like, yeah, they were stupid, but you're smarter. You are the man. You are better. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna practice idolatrism. You ain't gonna do how they did, because they never took out the high places. That means that it was stuck in their fabric of their culture to keep these places. You know the strip club and the stripper pole probably, probably the same thing? But people go to the strip club to worship women. And go to the, the, the champagne room to get a private blessing from this woman with sexual favors. Give their money up. Now, if you're king, if you're a leader of the United States, you're going to turn down the strip poles? Probably not, right? But that's how slick, that's how crafty Shaytan is. We can't forget him in these equations. We can't forget his minions. We can't forget the fallen. Like, like right now we're reading it as just these guys at this time. And that's sometimes how we get trapped. You're gonna be like, man, I ain't gonna do that. Not knowing what they were facing. The Baha'u's just one, one instrument of taking people away, right? But then there's other instruments, there's other beings. Like there's beings that's like, yo, I wanna live on this dimension and I wanna take over a vessel. There's so much going on, like as, as detective warrior kings, shepherds, I'm going to humbly request, don't forget these other things. Don't forget that there was a flood. Don't forget that, that the Most High came in of hosts and took his people out of the mist around. Don't forget he took Abram out of Ur Qasim, which came way before Egypt or, or Misraim was in power. I don't know why they keep forgetting that. Like people just want to remember Misraim, but he took a whole group out of Misraim. He took a man. He took a whole group. Don't get me wrong. He took a whole group because mind you, Abram didn't just come alone. Abram was of high nobility. He was the seed of Shem. He just wasn't. Mm -hmm. Like he just wasn't, you know, a king. Because remember, Terah spoke to the king. Like it wasn't just people off the streets. Abram dealt with other kings. Yet Lot went in the city and just dwelled in the city. Abraham was doing power moves. He was buying land like, ah, this is where I want to be buried at, ba ba ba. It's where the Most High called me to go. But remember, do not forget Noah. Do not forget his sons. So we're charged not to remember the people, per se, but remember what they, their qualities, what they did well, and where they, they fell short of the glory and we don't fall short because remember abram was walking with these tourists remember big you pointed that out he was walking with these commandments he had the laws so what what we were doing as a, a nation he was just doing by himself that's why he was like yo out of you will be the nation but he had a brother lot was his nephew Sarai was his niece. Sarai had a son, an older son, Hor Hor Horan. So, yeah, at this phase of going through scripture, please, young detective, 
understand the, the, the pattern in Pac-Man, right? Understand that there's a simple way we can walk. Like, even before they start talking about Yashua, we know about Yashua now. But, like, in this stage, they didn't have, they didn't know about Yashua. They thought they were Yashua. They thought they were, you know what I'm saying? They thought they were, okay, I'm the one, because I'm the house of David. Dawi. Oh, it's me. And whatever I want to do. They, Yashua showed you how to do it right. Shaitan, he knew some of the plan. This is where he's showing you where he came and confuse it. Don't forget Babel. They were trying to build a tower to get to the Mosai. To get to the heaven. Who would have that card? Who would have that knowledge of the heaven? If not the fallen. The fallen. Because there was there was many of them. Remember, he took a third. Don't forget these. These people are not making these decisions on their own, they're vessels. The only decision that they're making on their own is where to choose to align their vessel. Like, right now, I, I watched The Mummy. No, I didn't watch it, I didn't know. Right now, but like, I, I remember that movie, right? In my era, talk to people like your moms, my age. That Mummy thing was cool. They probably know more about that movie than they do more about they Yahshua or the Most High. But aren't they not the children of Israel? So, have compassion when when judging or even petition, because that's another thing that we, one of the crowns we're gonna have to win, because we will have to be judges. We will have to be baby Jesuses, or excuse me, baby Yahshua's. We will have to be disciples, apostles, anointed ones to carry on the crown. We would probably have to be the ones to cast out demons. You don't think I have to fight Uncle Jonesy's demons every day? That comes with it. This man got a lot. This man. He's got more than Uncle Greg. As his brother. Excuse me, excuse me. How do I take you out the equation? As a child of the Most High. Cho I choose to be that way. As a servant of King Yahshua, I choose to be that way. A runner of the set apart spirit, I'm choosing not to enter me. Through that name, I can help out cast out the spirit. I can't be like, well, you know, because me, Bart Lee, St. Fruit, said, out there, spirit, come out. I can't do that. He said, in his name, this is superpower that I'm sharing with you. This is what fathers are supposed to do. Kings are supposed to make sure that fathers, kings are supposed to make sure that the inheritance is in place. And that inheritance is not just a property of land. Yeah, it's a big deal. Big deal. Remember, a couple chapters back, he went and got all the lands his father lost. Back. My friends, my brothers, we are still thinking about slavery. That's that's some of our the children of Yashara, that's some of our narrative. We start, we started from a ship. Wait, where did that ship leave from, guys? Africa. <laughs> where did they get these slaves from, guys? Europe. Where did these guys come from, guys? Thank you. They went to the seven churches. That's what happened. They went to the seven churches and they still fled from the seven churches. And they were there. Where do you think the seven churches are? That's Europe. That's here. That's there. Oh, but Europe belongs to white people. Come on, no, no, no. But it's easy for us to lose our true history because we're watching their history. Guys, even today, they're still so enamored with the, the quote unquote third right. Almost every movie pay homage to it. Star Wars have a little bit of it. That's who the empire is supposed to be mimic like. In your video games, even in that house, it's still about the third right. That third right is really the third reign. That's all they're saying. So when you study the occult, they're practicing the same thing. So who do we have on our side now? The Pope ain't definitely for us, with all due respect. 
Because they went to go talk to the Pope. Hitler did. Nazi Germany did. It's principles in high places that we got to be mindful of. Right now, we're low key. But the moment we come out, the moment we start wearing our clothes, they're going to come on to us. So guard against that. Because already you're seeing where these people are going when they rest with their fathers. Because of their work. Yeah, you, you and Yashua have the same set apart spirit set in you, but his work is way different than yours, my friend. His job was way different than yours. Because his job is to be the king of all of this. Our job is to be the king of part of it. And I digress. I'm sorry, it gets so, gets so, uh, so so. So, two people have 13, one person will have 12. I can take the 12. Alrighty. Thank you, good with that? Yeah. Say something to well. them? <laughs> I showered, I promise too, big. I showered and everything. Is he leaving? Dave? Hello. Did he leave? Where is he Hello. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> How much you got? Um, you got 13. You and Pooh have 13. I'll take the 12. You know me, the man. The 27th year. Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, go ahead. The 27th year of Yerobam, sovereign of Israel, Azariah, son of Amatzia, sovereign of Yehuda, began to reign. He was 16 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 52 years in Yerushalayim. And his mother name was Yekoliahu of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh according to all that his father Amatz Yahu did however the high places were not taken away the people still slaughtered and burned incense on the high places and Yahweh smote the sovereign so that he was a leper until the day of his death he dwelt in a separate house. And Yotham, son of the sovereign, was over the house, ruling the people of the land. And the rest of the acts of Azar Yahu and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereign of Yehuda? So Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of Dawid. And Yotham had Yotham his son reigned in his place. In the 38th year of Azariahu, sovereign of Yehuda, Zechariahu, son of Yerobam, began to reign over Israel in Shamaram for six new moons. And he did evil in the sons of Yahweh, in the eyes of Yahweh. And his father had done. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerobam, son of Nabat, who had made Israel sin. And Shalom, son of Yabesh, conspired against him and struck him in front of the people and killed him and reigned in his place. And the rest of the acts of Zechariah, see, they are wit written in the book of the annals of the sovereign of Israel. This was the word of Yahweh, which he spoke to Yehu, saying, Your sons to the fourth generation are going to sit on the throne of Israel. And it came to be so. Shalom, son of Yabesh, began to reign in the thirty-ninth year of Uziah, the sovereign of Yehuda, And he reigned a month of days in Shamarang. And... 
Menahem, son of Gadi, went up from Tercha, came to Shamran, and struck Shalom, son of Yabesh. Shamran killed him and reigned in his place. And the rest of the acts of Shalim and the conspiracy which he led, see, they are written in the books of the annals of the sovereign of Israel. And Menahem struck Tzitzvah, Tifsa, and all who were there on its borders from Tertza, from Tertza, because they did not open it to him. Therefore he struck it, and he ripped open all the pregnant women. Woman. Bang. In the 39th year of Azariah, Azariah, yeah, sovereign of Yehuda, Menahem, son of Gadi, began to reign over Israel ten years in Shemron. He did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerobam, son of Nabat, who made Israel sin all his days. Full the sovereign of Ash Asher came against the land, and Menahem gave Paul a thousand talents of silver for his hand to be with him to strengthen the reign of his in his land in his hand. And Menahem exacted the silver of, of Israel of all the mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver to get to the sovereign of Asher. And the sovereign of Asher turned back and did not stay there in the land. And the rest of the acts of Menahem, and all that he did, are they not written in the books of the annals of the sovereigns of Israel? So Menahem slept with his fathers, and, Pek I, and Pekaiah, his son, reigned in his place. In the fifteen year of Azariah, the sovereign of Yehuda, Pekaiah, the son of Menahem, began to reign over Israel in Shamaron two years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerob, Yerob, son of Nabat, who made Israel sin, and Pekah, son of Ramal, Ramal Yahu, chief officer of his, conspired against him and struck him in Shamron, in the high place of the sovereign's house, along with Argob and Arieh. And with him were fifty men of Gilad. So he killed them and reigned in his place. And the rest of the acts of Pekahi and all that he did, see, they are written in the books of the annals of the sovereigns of Israel. In the fifth, in the fifty-second year of Azariah, sovereign of Yehuda, Pekwa, son of Remalayu, began to reign over Israel in Shemarah for twenty years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. He did not turn away from the sin of Yerubona, son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. In the days of Pekah, sovereign of Israel, Tigal, Pesha, Pilesir, sovereign of Ashur, Ashur, Shur, came and took Eon and Abel, Beth, Mag, Mag, Aka, and Yahweh and Kreshta and Hatsor and Gilad and Gilal and all the land of Naphtali and took them into exile into Ashashur. And Hosea, son of Elah, led a conspiracy against Pekwa, son of Ramaliahu, and struck him and killed him and reigned in his place in the twentieth year of Yohan, son of Uzziah. Hosea, and the rest of the acts of Pekwa, and all that he did, see, are they not written in the books of the annals of the sovereign of Israel? In the second year of Pekwa, son of Remaliah, sovereign of Israel, Yotham, son of Uzzi Uzziah, Uzziah, sovereign of Judah, began to reign. He was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Yerusha, daughter of Tekwa, Tezqua, Tezqok, Sedok, and he Tezok, Tezok, and he did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh. He did according to all that his father Uzariah Uzari, 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 did. 
However, the high places were not taken away. The people still slaughtered and burned incense in the high, on the high places. He built the upper gate of the house of Yahweh and the rest of the acts of Yotham and all that he did, are they not written in the books of the annals of sovereign Yehuda? In those days, Yahweh began to send Restin, Restin, Rest, Restin, sovereign of Aram, and Pequa, son of Remaliahu, Remal, Remaliahu, against Yehuda. So Yotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of Dawid, his father. And Asa, his son, reigned in his place. Wow. That was pretty straightforward. Chapters are pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. It's just understanding that. Yahshua said it best. I fear our people will perish for lack of knowledge. And I believe that some of these some of these rulers, these sovereigns, lack the knowledge. Wendor just had too much amorance or too much reverence for what was going on in the world. Right? What was going on. Like right now you can have a, a ruler of like what's a country that has a you know Let's say the Queen of England's children could like rap music, right? Or Hollywood and want to be like these Hollywood actors where no, you should be focused on being nobility. Or you have these Hollywood actors trying to act like they kings or real stars. Like, no, just focus on, I don't know, acting, right? But like, what happens when a king is going gaga over Lady Gaga? Does he lose it? You know, does he, and he, is he a fan now? Like, what happens? But that's between that sovereign and the most sovereign. Gentlemen, so concludes. Unless Big want to say something, but this concludes our uh, Soul Food Sabbath days. So far, so good. These things are very well, right? very inspirational these words that come from the most high and definitely spit out by men very educational because we're learning and we're educating ourselves in what's right in the eyes of the most high in this kingdom you're here right. so gentlemen I don't even know what happened to my hunger I was hungry but let's just went away